What's up everyone? So today I'm gonna walk you through how to make laser cutting projects for kids. It's fun, it works for my kids, they love it, and it's super easy. So I'm gonna walk you through how you can set it up in Coral Draw, and then we're gonna run it in the Epilogue Laser. And stay for the end of the video, I have something at the end. If you're new to the channel, hello, my name's Matt, my wife's name's Sarah. We also do vlogs during Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we have a greenhouse and a really beautiful garden. Every Monday video on that, and then every Wednesday I started a bee business, and that's just starting up. I just checked on them. I'm super pumped for this year, doing a bunch of changes on it. So, let's get to it. Okay, so once you open Coral Draw, you can see I already pulled some clip art in. Now I just go to... Uh, clip art, free clip art on there, and I just pull it up. It's for the kids, I'm not worried about selling or anything, not worried about that. So, let's go and click. I already cleaned these up to speed it, speed it up a little bit. Let's go and clean this one up. So I'm gonna show you how, you can see this is a JPEG. But I wanna show you how to trace this and get this looking good. So, let's go up to trace bitmap, outline trace. We're gonna go down to clip art. So once it's done, you want to go up to colors and go to color mode. See that right here? Click there and go down to black and white. The reason why you're doing black and white, you can see in the picture there was gray. It up a lot better. Now we're going to go down here and hit OK. Pull that off. Let's delete the other one. So now we want to make a box. Let's put it yellow as a background. Control spacebar goes to the mouse. Let's put that in here. Oh, see how it went behind there? So now to fix that, you go up to arrange, go down to order, and go to front of page. Now, you can see you got a lot of white in here. So what you wanna do is click this, hit the X, so it ungroup it, now you have a nudge factor up here, two inches. Let's see how big this is. So it's three inches. So let's go to the nudge factor right here. Let's put in four. Okay, now you can see it looks like all these black lines touch and come together. So you should be able to click a black line and just click over with the over key. And now you'll see you have left over the white. We'll take the white off. And let's delete the yellow. All right, so now to cut this, we're gonna go over to this right here, go down to pen, and we're gonna start tracing this. So tracing it's pretty easy. Let's start right here. And you just wanna kinda make rough marks of where you're going, and you're gonna come back and form it. See how you're doing that on each, you wanna to get to the top of the arch and then you wanna get in that crack. Cause you're gonna come back and form it. This will all make sense in a minute here. So you wanna go back to the up arch right there. You got another one. Let's go before it and then one right after. Go all the way there. And we're back. So now what you wanna do Come up here and grab this, the shape tool. Now we're gonna come in. <clears throat> Let's highlight all of them. We're gonna right click on one of the dots. We're gonna do curve. And then we're gonna zoom in. Now watch this. You're gonna grab this. You're just gonna pull it up. It's really fast and easy, I found, to do it this way. Rather than sit there and go through and try to delete everything. And especially, you know, for the kids' craft part, because it's it really is just for you know them. It's not like it's a for a big company. So you do this really fast. Even with the bigger company, you can touch up the lines a little better. But let's just whip this out, and then we'll get go on to the next one. All 
Okay, so once you're done, I went up here and I right click on the X and then a left click, sorry, and then you right click on the red and it makes the line red. That just makes it easier for right now, for later, I'll show you why. We're gonna group that, set it off to the side. We're gonna grab this stuff. I got different things here to show you different ways. So, for the flowers, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a square. We're gonna shape tool, I'm gonna bring that in. Highlight both of them. We're gonna go up to arrange. I'm gonna go to align, left and right. So I got mine over here, so that was confusing to me because I'm used to doing it this way. Um, so you wanna go left and right, top and bottom. So then it's in the center. And I know which kids are getting what, so. <laughs> Let's go up to the top and we're gonna make, we're gonna do left click on the X Right click on the red, so we know whatever's red, we're gonna cut out. And whatever's black is gonna be etched. So let's take this one and let's do right here. Let's see what, the star in there. Yeah. So now once we have that, let's take the bees and we're gonna size it in the middle. Let's go four inches and we're gonna grab it all, center it. And now for this one, let's do a circle, hold control and it's gonna give you an exact circle and it's not gonna be oblong. Let's go center that. Now you can put another hole up here and you know turn this into an ornament during Christmas time. Let's go up. Click on the X, left click, right click red. Do it on both of them because we know we're cutting that. All right, so it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not rocket science or anything. Uh, so what I'm using is, so I'm using a sheet that's gonna be 24. So let's unlock this, 24 and then hit tab, it'll go down to the next one, by 15. Hit enter, and we're gonna take that and put it up here. So now when we place these in here, we know where they will be. Uh, let's make these a little smaller, they don't need to be so big. I don't need to spoil my kids that much. <laughs> Four inches is pretty good. Okay, so what I like to do, I know you can do it where you can highlight both of them and do multiple prints as one time. But what I personally like to do, because I find in clip art, there's a lot of little lines that'll get cut and it shouldn't be cut. So what I found is easier by doing the red lines is if you just click on the red lines and you hold shift. And you click on all of them. Now you can hit Control P and it'll bring up your print page. So you're gonna go to selection. Oh, and see I got the butterfly all in there, so fix that. We're gonna go to Fusion and we're gonna go cut this. So let's go vector. Um, I know my height's gonna be 3.25 and I know the settings are going to be 10, 100, and we're going to go 3. Because I'm using pretty thick wood, quarter inch. 
So let's fix that because you can see the black in there. So we're going to hit apply and then cancel. I'm going to make sure I grab the red. Now to make sure you can just hit control P and it'll pop up and you can see black in there. What in the heck? Oh, I grouped it. That's right. So let's go back. Okay. So I click on the red. I ungrouped it. Click on all the red ones. Control P. See how it's not black in there? Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is hit <clears throat> print on that. And then what you do is you click on all of the black and you hold shift as you're doing this. And then you hit control P and you see all the black that came in there. So now we're gonna go into preferences and we're gonna change this to raster. And we're gonna go power 100. And let's go, let's go 100 for engraving too. Cause we don't need it to be really deep. Uh, everything else is good. Let's go 400 DPI and hit okay and hit print. Now you're asking, well, why would you do the cutting first? Well, when you gotta remember when you're putting the into the laser, it's stacking. So the cutting went in first and then the engraving. So when I put my paper in, it's gonna engrave it first and then it's gonna come back and cut it. You watch. All right, what is in there? You can see there's two jobs and it's gonna take eight minutes and this is gonna be the engraving because it's 400 DPI. So now we're gonna hit go. See how it's all engraved, really nice. Now let's cut it. Now that took just about four minutes to cut. Shut the air pump off so it's a little quieter. So see how you got, it's like, the smoke in there. See that? Right there. Now don't be alarmed with the smoke because what you can do with that is you take it out if you have a sander, just hit it with the sander. Or if you can get blocks of sandpaper. I'll put a link down below. It's affiliate link, but I grab them off of Amazon, I go through quite a bit of these. Just because it ain't worth me driving 45 minutes to a store to get that one little piece. So I just order a sleeve of them. But anyways, take it, you rub it on here for a little bit, sands it off, you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, pretty nice little thing there for the kids. Now they'll take it and go draw on it, color it, make it look all fancy and pretty. So I got all the pieces out. I don't know why the top corner is stuck in there a little bit, but you'll see I made a mistake and I'm going to point it out right now. There, a little quieter. I made a mistake and I'm going to point it out right now. Can you see it? See the mistake? There we go. See the mistake? The antennas are gone. I didn't make them big enough. So FYI, in the future, make those a little bigger. Maybe probably make them taller. Because if you went up a little farther up, farther up here and then made them a little wider, they wouldn't have burnt off. So something to think about, but all those burn marks you can sand right off. It's no big deal. So other than that, it's pretty simple. I mean, I just wanted to show you guys more of the coral draw and it'll give your kids something to do and even well heck you can make some of these and sell them you know <laughs> whatever make something out of them so just wanted to show you some simple things hope you guys liked it um also i've been asked by a couple of people uh to do a member thing and i didn't know what they were talking about i had uh, 12 people actually email us and so what we did 
is I talked to another person and they helped me set it up. So if you guys want to help the channel or grow or whatever, uh, next to the subscribe button, there's a join button. And maybe in the future, wherever this goes, um, I can start something up by, you know, a separate page and, you know, just us people in there. But I'm new to this, so I'm learning as I go too. So um, the other thing is next week, I won't be doing a video. That's my wife's day. But the week after I got one and I have it for Etsy SEO and it's how we get ranked and found so it's how we do it it's a i'm going to show you guys a quick way how to do it so you don't have to pay all these people to do it and pay off for all these programs and stuff so if you guys want to if you want to do that let me know in the comments yes or no on the seo just put seo yes on the seo or if you want a different video let me know and i can switch it up because i don't know i got a handful of people that want that but i don't know how many other people want that so let me know in the comments all right, so that would be it. If you guys like content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more. <laughs> Glad you got to see me again. <laughs>